Welcome back guys. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to wire up these Incra LED lights. And at the end of this video, we're gonna power up these LED lights as well as those from Eaton and their Halo LED lights. And we'll compare the two and I'll show you all five different temperatures look like. The lights I'll be using today are from Incra LED. You can find them on Amazon and I'll put a link to them in the description below. When you open up the package, each light will have its own electrical box and of course its own light fixture. The only additional item that you're gonna have to buy is a cable connector like this. I just got them from uh, Home Depot and you can buy them on Amazon as well. I'll throw a link to them in the description below. Uh, but this is kind of the item that you're looking for. When you get the box, it's going to look like this. If you open it up, now you've got all access to all of your electrical connectors, as well as the two screw holes here at the back. And that's for fixing this box onto a stud in your ceiling. When you're doing the rough in, you're gonna to wanna to mount this electrical box first. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it is relatively close to the hole and where you're gonna be placing your light because you only have about eight inches or so of line coming out between this piece and the section here that is on the light. You can't have the box mounted any further away than that from where you want to place your light. Now this is a 14-2, so you've got two conductors and one ground, and it's 14 gauge. You gotta think of this as your power wire coming from your switch, carrying power to your light. You wanna strip back about four inches, so now to make the connections, you're gonna to want to strip off about half an inch of wire on both your neutral and your power wire. And if you're gonna do a bunch of these, I would suggest getting a automatic uh, wire stripper like this. It'll save you a heck of a lot of time. These stripped now, it's time to get it into the electrical box. So here you've got a couple of different options depending on which way you wanna write your wires. Uh, you can come in through the box on this side, over here on the hinge side, or on the bottom as well. You just need to give them a little tap, and you know, this little tab. Now they do have a hole in them, so you can put your screwdriver in there and also pry back and forth to bust them out. That, that's where this connector comes in, and that just inserts right in. Now we can start inserting our wires through the top here. And now you wanna get it so that you've just got a little bit of, uh, of the shielded cable uh, sticking inside the box. This is where it gets really simple with these nice push to connect connectors. So you've got your black, which is your power, and you've got four spots here where you can connect the wire. And doesn't matter which one you put in, you just pick whichever is easiest for you and push it in, all the way in. Now you don't want any exposed wire sticking out above here. So if you have, then you've uh, stripped off too much wire. But as you can see, the wire is all the way bottomed out and making a great electrical connection. Same with the neutral. Push it in, and you'll notice that if you pull on it, it is, it's good and stuck in there. And then your green is your copper ground wire, and so again, just push it in. So there are all your connections, so you've got your black power, you've got your white neutral, and you've got your green and copper grounds. So now it's just trying to neatly fold these back in and you close it up. Now with this mounted in the ceiling, your rough-in is finished for this particular light. Say that you didn't wanna just install one light and you wanted to run multiple lights. So in order to do this, we've got power wire already coming into the box. We're gonna to have to add a second power wire that's gonna come out of the box and into your next light. So to do that, we need, of course, another piece. We'll insert that as well. Now we've got two wires. We got our one power wire and then we have our wire going to our second light. And then again, black to black, white to white, and your copper 
to ground. So there you go. Now we've got power wire and we've got the wire going to our second light. Now this would be the exact same thing as you go onto the second light. If it's the last light on your loop, then it's just going to have the one wire coming in from the other light, and that's going to be it. If it's in the middle of the run, then you're going to have your one wire coming in from the previous light, and then one wire leaving to go to the next light. You tuck these in, and there you have it. That's ready and finished, and you can move on to the next light for your roughen. Comes to installing a light. Very simple at this point. You reach up through the hole you've cut. You find this guy. There's a little indicator here to make sure that you only plug it in the one way. So you line those up, screw the connector together, and then you're ready to pop in your light. So you just fold these up, stick it into the hole, and sort of let these go down. And what that's going to do is kind of sit about like this on your ceiling and hold that light nice and flat and tight to the ceiling. So what do these things look like when they're plugged in? Well, let's start with the Incra LED. So this one's at 5,000. Now we're looking at 4,000 Kelvin. We'll switch it to 3,000 here. And those are the three settings for the Incra LED. Now the Eaton Halo, here it is at 5,000, 4,000. 3,500 Kelvin, we'll get on a 3,000 Kelvin, and finally the last setting on the Eaton Halo is the 2,700 Kelvin. Now putting the two 6-inch lights side by side, both on the 5,000 Kelvin setting, I actually prefer the Incra LED. I think it's a little bit brighter and uh, a little bit uh, wider of a light. Now this is looking at the 4-inch uh, Incra LED, and uh, same settings as what you have on the Halo. So you get five different settings, all the way from 5,000 Kelvin all the way down to 2,700 Kelvin. The last thing I wanted to show you was the difference between the 750 lumen 4 inch and the 1,050 lumen 6 inch. So fading from 750 to 1050, just a little brighter, especially up at the top. A big thank you to Anchor LED for providing the lights for today's demonstration. Hopefully you guys found it helpful and will help you on your project ahead. I would highly encourage you to check them out on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. I've found these lights to be great value at pretty much half price what you're going to find at the big box stores. You're looking about $11 per light for the 4 inch and about $15 a light for the six inch. Now you can buy these in a variety of color options from warm light all the way up to 5,000 Kelvin. You can also get them in a multi configuration where you can change the color of the light on the side of the box. The four inch variant has five different color options and the six inch has three different color options selectable at the box. Please check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. I've done a full basement renovation and I've tried to document every aspect of it. So if you are taking, undertaking your own project, I'd highly consider checking my channel and consider subscribing. I'm sure there's going to be other content already up on the site that will help you out immensely.